Welcome fans, viewers, subscribers. My name is Roku and uh, you're joining me on my channel. As always, I do reviews on beers, so you don't have to. Um, right, we're going to um, a country now that uh, that doesn't, I don't think, get mentioned a lot. And we are talking Slovenia. So there you go, Slovenian beer called Lasko. And I think there is the name of the particular brewer, I think. Um, Zlatarog, I think that's how you say it. I'm not too sure. Again, come in with your suggestions. Um, if you're from Slovenia or you know how it's pronounced, please, please tell me. And tell me if I've pronounced that right as well, Lasko. Um, I know there's an accent there, so it might be said differently. Um, I'm not very good at pronunciations, but hey, I am good at drinking beer. So then, Lasko, um, I've had this before, it's been a few years, um, and I mean a few years as well. This is a 500ml, uh, can we see that? 500ml and it's 4.9%. So there's your, there's your percent, 4.9, 500ml. So again, um, probably in the Pilsnery area, or something along that line. Looks can be deceiving though. Um, there you go, for any cap enthusiasts, a nice green coloured Lasko Zeltrog, or whatever it is, Zlatarog cap, for any cap enthusiasts. Um, I've had to let this settle a bit because it was just um, overflowing with a head, and it has retained a very good head as well. So this is what I'm dealing with, okay, just to give you a, a, a brief look. Look at that. That is some foamy goodness right there. That is how foamy this head is, and a very good one. So 10, 10 out of 10 there for the head. Um, I've still got some in there as well, because I couldn't couldn't pour it all in. But I'll, I'll top myself up as we go. Um, so then, Lasko from Slovenia. Um, right, first off, looks quite golden. Fantastic head and lacing, as you've already seen. Carbonation a bit slow. Um, but plentiful, so yeah, that's good in my eyes. Um, I'm gonna smell, see what I can smell out. <laughs> Just want to show you that head one more time because that is that is awesome. Look at that. Just like it how it's kind of got that sort of triangular thing going on there with a the circle in the middle. Totally unintentional. It just smells really fresh, that's all I'm getting, it's just a fresh smell. That smells like fresh... Fresh barley, that's, that's probably all I can put it down to. It's not got a lot of smells to it, but what there is, what I am smelling there is, is kind of fresh. I'm just going to go and just gently pour this in. I'm aware that this could overflow at any time, so being careful. Um, I've noticed this has been brewed since 1825, so yep. let's see if an old time recipe can live up to the taste. Gonna give it the thumbs up already. That's quite nice. Um, it it starts off very smooth and watery, but what grabs you the most and will always stay with you is the fact that this is a very, a very mild, hoppy beer, um, and you it's kind of a dry hop as well. Um, but because it's watery based, it kind of, kind of evens the balance, if you will. It kind of doesn't give you that dry mouth that I hate and I dread. This has worked well. They've given it the watery taste, um, a dry hop bitterness at the end um, on the aftertaste. The head itself is very fluffy, very light, doesn't really taste of anything. A very light, borderline crispy body to it. Um, and also I'm, I'm detecting maybe a little bit of floral, floral tastes as well, like maybe a, a peel of some sort, whether that's like a, a lemon or floral peel, I don't know, but I'm, I'm getting something florally 
It sits quite well in the mouth, I must admit, I'm enjoying it. There you go, just give me yourself a dart. So there you go, that's the whole 500. It's a very non-offensive beer. The flavours are, uh, are bland, but they work incredibly well. It's light, it's a um, dry finish at the end, very slight, that hoppy dry finish at the end. Um, a little bit of sweetness in there for good measure, and it's just that watery base again. Um, combining it all three, in order, you get the fluffiness of the head, which doesn't really taste of anything. Then you get a wateriness, and at the same time you get the wateriness, you get that hop, um, hop dryness to it, and then you get a dry finish with a little bit of sweetness right in between all of that so again you kind of got the sweetness working constantly in the background followed by the hop uh, dry bitterness at the end on the aftertaste as well and throughout the mouth the mouth feel itself is very smooth very laid back <coughs> well done Slovenia you've just earned yourself three burps and as I always say if you burp it's a sign of a good beer Very smooth in the mouth feel, um, gentle carbonations. Yeah, it's not a bad beer at all. Actually, not a bad beer. Considering they brewed this since 1825, they've done extremely well. I wonder if it is the original recipe. Who knows? Um, right, moving on then. What am I going to score this? Slovenia. I'd like a drum roll if I may. Um, <laughs> I will give this uh, Lasco. Um, I'm going to give this a seven and a half out of ten. It's a laid-back beer. Um, some good attempts at flavours there. Very non-offensive. Very easy to drink. Very calm, laid-back sort of mellowed flavours. I feel that it's not for everyone. Um, maybe a bit of criticism could be add a little bit more flavour in there. Um, but other than that, I'm very happy with the finished product, and I like it. Um, a very sort of laid-back beer, but nevertheless, I I don't know how anyone else would feel about this, but there you go. So, thank you everyone for watching. My name's been Ruku, and join me next time when I'll be going to uh, Epiofia uh, for some of their beer. Yeah, you did hear me right, Epiofia. The uh, people that are in um, Africa. So a little bit in Africa called Ethiopia. So join me for that one. That should be quite interesting.